That's cool. Yeah. I was one of those kids that always knew what they wanted to be. Even when I was a very little kid, it didn't bother me seeing hands get sewn up or really gross stuff being done. And my dad was like, yep, you can be a doctor. And now I'm a doctor. I had this little kitten and he died and I was heartbroken when I was about 13 years old. And a few months later, the vet in town said, hey, by the way, we've got these kittens here. If you're ready, I always remember how, how loved I felt by the vet in town, that she knew that I was in pain and that maybe it would be time for me to have another one. And so then I was like, yeah, that is what I want to do. Getting into vet school is very difficult, and one of the main reasons is that there are so few vet schools. You still have all these people that want to go, just like that want to go to med school, but there are a whole bunch of med schools and not very many vet schools. So that's why the competition is so fierce to get in. For somebody that's thinking about going to vet school, the number one thing I would do is try to find a vet you can at least shadow for a day. What do we do all day? I mean, is it playing with puppies all day like my Instagram looks like? No, it's not. We do a lot of paperwork. We do a lot of lifting and dirty work too. Once you've decided that you want to go to vet school, you really have to have good grades to get into veterinary school. Beyond that, having veterinary experience helps, but you don't have to have a particular major to go to veterinary school. You could be a philosophy major, you could be a biology major, you could be an English major and still go to veterinary school. You just have to have a certain number of prerequisites. And so looking at that when you get into college, uh, a guidance counselor can help you figure out which things you need. An interesting thing that has happened over the last even 20 or 30 years is that veterinary medicine is now much more a uh, female profession than a male profession and it's it's going even farther that way when I was in school my class was about 50 50 men and women and now many of the classes are 80 or 90 percent women um, and you know you go 20 years before I was in school and it was maybe you know 90 percent men so in a relatively short period of time veterinary medicine has become very female heavy, which I think is awesome. So how long is vet school? Vet school is four years just like med school is. You do four years of undergrad and then four years of vet school. A little bit different than med school then is you don't have to do an internship or a residency. Those are available, but uh, you can go right into practice. That's what I did. I went right in and was just like, mm, put me in coach, I'm ready to play. I got in early, so I actually only did seven years. So I did three years of undergrad, was accepted early, and got did my four years of vet school because I'm super smart. <laughs> What other roles, what other jobs are there around veterinary medicine that are not being a vet? Um, obviously, veterinary technician or veterinary nurse is the number one thing people think of. They do pulling blood, uh, getting urine, uh, clipping nails, um, feeding animals, making sure that IV lines are, are working properly, putting in IV lines. They do almost everything that we do under our direction, but uh, don't do any diagnosing, don't do any surgery, and don't do any prescribing. It's a very good job. It is difficult um, in that it is hard work. Um, you do have to have quite a bit of knowledge. A registered technician will do usually two years of school after uh, high school and then or even after um, college um, could do two years of um, work in veterinary nursing and then become a registered technician. Other things that you might do, uh, receptionists or hospital managers are good jobs as well. Um, yes, you get to deal with the animals a little bit, but certainly animals don't pay the bills because they don't have any pockets. So we really have to work with the people and so we need people with good people skills that can uh, help facilitate all of that. The entry level jobs would be an animal caretaker, somebody who walks the dogs and cleans up after them. And those are usually trained on the job. Um, they don't pay as well, but they're certainly great jobs and can be very rewarding and very helpful for us. So I went to Iowa State University. I did my undergraduate work there and my veterinary school there. And then after veterinary school, I graduated and moved to California for a few years. And went on from there. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and if you have any questions about vet school or vet related things, please put them below and I will answer them as best I can.